Uh, especially Anton inviting me. Uh, I gave a similar topic on the GI cancer risk factors last year. And this year, again, uh, I'd like to give you some uh, general patterns of uh, uh, gastric cancer and colon cancer in Korea. It might be related with some risk factors, uh, especially focusing on the nutritional factors, uh, more specifically on the tofu uh, or soybean uh, items. How to this one? Oh, oh sorry. Okay, so let me first introduce a brief summary of the uh, Korean National Cancer Screening, National Cancer Control Program, as you can see on this slide. So cancer uh, in Korea is a leading cause of death in 1983. Still the leading side, leading cause of death. So government uh, decided to uh, solve this problem uh, as uh, in terms of uh, national uh, cancer control program, it was the first time was been initiated in 1996, and after 10 years, uh, 2006, the second term of a national cancer control program had been initiated. So during that period of time, for 10 years, uh, the as you can see in slide, the, the first term of a uh, National Cancer Screening Program, the cancer screening, early screening program was uh, the main focus. So during that period, that the uh, five survivor rate has much been increased. Uh, so overall, it's over 50% of uh, survival rates have been achieved by uh, the governments. As well as the cancer mortality start to decrease during the 10 years. However, the cancer incidence itself start to increase. So the basic problem was uh, that uh, the prevalence of cancer cases is the big issues, the big burden of, uh, in terms of economic, uh, medical care and some things. So these uh, as out, out uh, profile of the Korean uh, cancer statistics I may give you some more clue and to uh, support your understanding of the cancer uh, pattern, especially of the GI cancer. It is one of the example that the five-year survival rate of Korean uh, cancer sites, as we can see here. Let me turn this one. Okay. For you, you're very uh, much interested in stomach cancer and colon cancer. It's now over 74% overall five-year survival. And the, sto and the colon cancer is about 76 percent. It was uh, 50 or 60 percent. So in in general, stomach cancer five year survival and the colon cancer survival rate is over 50, regardless of uh, a clinical stage for the last uh, at least 13 or 15 years, compared to the uh, those figures in the United States, Canada, and Japan, is much higher, we can see. So much improvement in the uh, cancer survive survival. But what happened in the uh, cancer instance during the last uh, two decades in Korea? So as you can see, some, some uh, previous speakers had talked about it, that uh, 1999, <clears throat> he only showed you the data from 99 to uh, 2010. However, what something happened in 2011, after 2011, dramatic changes you can see uh, with this slide. But anyway, it was uh, 1999 that the Korean government first in initiated the National Cancer Screening Program. Uh, and then after that, the screen cancer incidences have steadily increasing for men as well as women. However, uh, 2011, the increasing patterns start to decrease. So many uh, epidemiologists and many governmental uh, officials are surprised that, uh, anyway, the overall instance, age of just the overall instance rate of uh, cancer start to decrease. The person changing male was 1.6, 
uh, for fever was 5.7. However, after 2011, started to decrease. And then, so they follow, we, we followed the, the pattern of the next year, 2012 and 2013. We had the same, oh, what's that? Something. Okay. When you're looking at the cytospecific cancer instance trend during the same period of time, that you can see here, uh, sorry. This is the uh, stomach cancer. Uh, instances of stationary and start to decrease in, from 2011. This is the shape of a colon cancer. Start to increase, however, start to decrease. So during the after years of 2011, the overall cancer incidence start to decrease, as well as the uh, incidence of stomach cancer and colon cancer start to decrease. This is a very interesting pattern that we can see and we report it. Okay, stomach, colon, and liver during the two decades start to decrease continuously. So many of the uh, researchers had uh, speculated that uh, what is the major factor of that uh, decrease of the GI cancer, especially stomach cancer and the lung, uh, colon cancer. This is the overall uh, summary of the uh, PAF that has been calculated in the basic uh, cancer statistics in Korea in both sexes in 2009, that uh, smoking and infection is much uh, big, a poor, poor uh, portion of, uh, in terms of mortality as well as the uh, instance. Some figure, uh, something wrong in presentation, but anyway, smoking instance at 11 points and mortality 22.8%. And drinking, but mostly smoking and infection was the major risk factor for the Korean the population. Uh, but the diet we are uh, focusing on that is very, very low in terms of the PAFs, that's aqua drinking here, and uh, nothing could be measured. It is because the, you may, some of you may know that not only Korean, but also Asian's dish is very complicated. Not a single measurement can be done easily. So everything is compl complex with the many other ingredients. So it is not easy to measure in general. However, we believe that dietary factors has a great contribution to the uh, cancer incidence, especially stomach and colon cancers. Uh, I will show you some other evidence. This PAF has been drawn uh, from Gaul and Pito and IAC in 2000. Anyway, uh, around one third of the uh, cancer uh, has been uh, contributed to the dietary factors. So what about the, in terms of uh, stomach cancer first? So this is one a picture of uh, various types of uh, salty or some uh, protective factors known to be protective in Asian region. This is Korean very spicy and very hot. And the Japanese, a very salty diet. And China also has a very salty. In, in contrast, these fresh vegetables and fresh fruits available in. But I uh, take this picture at Kazakhstan, my friend there in the Astana. There, when I firstly visited the country, I was very surprised the stomach cancer was very high. So, oh no, it's Russian and uh, it's, it's Caucasian, but why? <laughs> and I uh, look around uh, to see what, what's happening in, in this marketplace. And there are many Koreans there. <laughs> and they like that, that uh, vegetable, that's uh, pickled. Uh, but I like it very much. It's very salty. And this is one of the major source of a salt intake in, in Korean as well as the other. Uh, people so living in other countries. So anyway, uh, the, those uh, those items uh, uh, may be related with, with the uh, high incidence of stomach cancer in Korea. So some peop 
One of the papers published in 2000, it's, it's just gone, very weak now. But anyway, in, the, in 2011, uh, we published that the, anyway, many, many papers had already been published. But the, this is one of the summary that stomach cancer in Korean a decreasing pattern had, can be seen over the two or three decades and also the increasing amount of vegetables intake and fruits intake and the refrigerator use, widespread refrigerator may act as a, even, even the before the National Cancer Screening Program or National Cancer Prevention Program uh, by, organized by the government, there was a, a decreasing pattern can, could be uh, explained by this uh, graph. And also we already found out that high salt intake is a major source of a, a problem that the high incidence of, a, very highly correlated with the high uh, incidence and high prevalence of a Korean stomach cancer. So the government already started to reduce the salt intake by reducing the amount of salt in each food, especially kimchi is very famous for Korean dish, but rather salty. Some, some kimchi has a very salty, you can see that the left panel, but white, white kimchi is not so salty. So that kind of uh, changing habits in diets uh, recommended by the government and the many healthy agencies uh, play a role in reducing the salt intake in general population in Korea. And also you know, somebody mentioned about that the helicobacter is also very important uh, causative agent in the stomach cancer in Korea. But uh, you can see here some enigma that the uh, high prevalence stomach cancer rate Low, low stomach cancer rate in high prevalence area. So we have to figure out what happened in uh, that uh, something. Uh, and, and even to explain that, that uh, can be seen in Korean also. So we published already in 2000, uh, which year, in BJC, the CAGA positive pylori, as well as the VAC, VAC A positive cases is the major subtype of cancer in the stomach cancer in, in Korean population. Uh, and not only the helicobacter pylori, but also other uh, strains and dietary factors, genetics, and something like that. But we are now, I'm now talking about the one other th more things that not only the general dietary factors, but also like to focusing on the soybean. The soybean is a major source of phytoestrogen. And in, in, in China, Japan, and Korea, the tofu is a major source of uh, uh, soybean intake. And some other, this is the, the picture taken uh, from Vietnam and uh, Iran, uh, uh, various types of uh, phytoestrogen and rich foods in the Asian population. However, ever, uh, uh, anybody, somebody had been uh, introduced already that the, for the gastric cancer risk, the WCRF does not, uh, some, sorry, but very weak, yeah, but, and more, more evidence is necessary for the vegetables and the foods for decreasing risk factor for gastric cancer. And colon cancer you can see here. So we need a more specific uh, scientific research uh, in terms of a public interest in the health benefits of a soybean and soybean intake, soybean products. So as you know that the uh, isoflavone itself has a very similar molecular structure uh, to estrogen uh, and as well as the other, uh, so it, it may have a, it, uh, inhibitory or agonistic <coughs> effects on the receptor, but also inhibit the growth and development of a hormone-dependent cancer like breast cancer. However, uh, not only the, the, the receptor, estrogen receptor, but also it, has, it might have the inhibiting cell proliferation, 
and the uh, rest of cell cycle, anyway, uh, related with the infection itself. So our research, this is the uh, traditional uh, case control study research that in Korea, that you can see the soy food itself decreased the risk of soma cancer, and fruit and vegetables also decrease, and high salt food increases the risk. But we need more specific, more consistent, more scientific results because most of the studies are drawn from the case control study, which is very vulnerable for recall bias and selection bias. And also the measurement error might be from the footprint FFQ. So we need more specific biomarkers using the prospect prospective studies. So uh, this, this is a study result that from cohort study in Korean cohort uh, using the biomarkers uh, uh, from the nested case control study uh, with the Asian cohort within the biobank. Actually, this is my cohort uh, since 1993, so called KMCC, and using this uh, cohort study, we have a very beautiful data that a soybean product intake itself shows, uh, at, in terms of a soft tofu intake, shows decreasing trend, very beautiful data we can see. However, soybean paste, soybean paste means, uh, how to say, in the tenjang kuk is a very high salty skew, the very salty one, even, even added with the soybean. So it's very, very salty dishes. So one uh, pe people who like soybean paste has a higher risk, even the statistical non-significance. But when we're looking at the data uh, we com in combination with the uh, interleukin-10 also being reported and decrease the risk of gastric cancer risk in person with the reduced intake of soybean intake among the variants. So it might interact with the cytokine, nothing like that. It, 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 this is one of our results. So more specifically, my colleague start to uh, uh, in investigate the, uh, not only the uh, phytoestrogen itself, but oh, sorry, with, with, to measure the genistein, genistein and diazine and E. coli and something like that. So this is the main result of uh, our study that has been published in uh, 2000 CEDP. As you can see here, this is based from the Cohort study, the state case control study with the KMCC cohort, shows that the intake of genistein shows decreasing trend. Digene also decreasing, and E. coli also decreasing uh, in, in terms of stomach cancer risk. And with some combination of uh, ca category combined with other uh, nearby uh, category, shows the similar pattern that uh, combined group highest you know, isoflavon intake shows the decreasing trend of gastric cancer in this nested case control study uh, within the court. And the similar study had been done against the colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer, now the Korea uh, instance, Korea is the world, world highest, very high now. But fortunately, it started to decrease. And, but mortality is uh, not, not so high, but anyway, uh, the incidence itself is very high. So in, isoflavon may, uh, may be related with uh, reduction of color, colorectal cancer rate through that uh, possible uh, explanation uh, with this, uh, as you can see in this figure. And it, this is the uh, traditional Case control, no, no, case control study being conducted in National Cancer Center Group, Korea, showed that traditional dietary pattern shows the uh, uh, decreasing trend. However, westernized dietary pattern shows the uh, high increasing uh, risk of a colorectal cancer in this cohort population. 
So more specifically, uh, this is similar ones that may skip. More specifically, they measure the uh, serum isoflavone uh, and the colorectal cancer risk compared with this. Uh, as you can see, this figure published in 2018 that uh, Korean population in man, woman shows a decreasing trend, protective uh, trend you can see here. Uh, and the, uh, we, when we compare the similar data with the Koreans and the Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese does not show, uh, no, the very high significant trend also can be seen in the Vietnam woman. But what about the man? Man shows, for the Koreans, it uh, does not show significant trend. However, in the Vietnamese woman, men, sorry, uh, shows the decreasing trend in genistein itself. And many other uh, genistein equal and the, the other diazogen uh, result had showed a similar pattern that already been published. Uh, so what, well, when we compare the data from the, I, I, the AP cohort, published in 2008, anyway, colorectal cancer relation has, does not show any significant results in terms of a serum isoflavone level in the European population. So might be wrong, but how, uh, one of the reasons maybe uh, the total amount of intake of isoflavone compared to the Asians, uh, compared to the uh, Western or European, uh, roughly saying that our Asian or Koreans uh, intake of uh, fitoestrogen is about 20 to 50 milligram per day. However, in, in the Western, very low. That it might be a result of such discrepancy between Asians and uh, uh, European countries. Uh, so, may, so let me uh, make a summary that the Korean uh, prospective study <coughs> in plasma isoflavone uh, concentrations were found to reduce gastric and colorectal cancer risk and also association between interleukin-10 uh, modified by soybean intake. And the uh, epidemiologic evidence from validated studies support soybean products a protective effect on GI cancers. Might be related with the recent decreasing trend of GI cancer morbidity mortality, uh, along with the other uh, high in increasing intake of uh, vegetables and fruits, and uh, uh, decreasing trend of salt intake, uh, but also related with the tofu intake, the small amounts of a contribution to this change in Korea. Thank you. Colleagues, are there any questions for King, uh, Professor King Yu about um, We've been paced. I was very curious. I never so been paced. So been paced. How does how do you use it? Because you said that people who uh, who take it, so there is a high risk for um, uh, for developing malignancies, probably because it's uh, more salty, right? So, Very salty. So how do you use it? How do you eat? I'm sorry for this question. So oh. never, never try it. Okay, I will show you after the <laughs> session. Okay, thanks. The tofu, intake of to tofu itself, or intake of a bean itself, uh, is not so much uh, risky. However, when cooking with the high salt, uh, uh, with, with some uh, like vegetables and uh, the other, uh, some meats, the Koreans, uh, one of the favorites, it's very salty. So somebody who like, uh, and, and, and anyone do, who knows that I'm, uh, seems to be I'm the only one from Asia in this room, but doenjang kuk is a very, very salty one. I show you the picture. That, that is, the, that is a, one of the uh, salty the stew. Oh, look nice. On the very, photo. very salty. So anyway, during the past 20 years, the, in, in my son, in my, in my grandson, granddaughter doesn't like the kind of a dish already been changed. 
but my AG, I like it very much. Go. I have another question. Um, actually, it's more a comment combined with the question. So you show the, if I'm not wrong, the incidence rates of stomach cancer, colorectal liver, etc. That when you start, after you started screening, many years passed while the incidence was still increasing, and then suddenly in 2011 it started decreasing. And you hypothesize that this is due to the change in diet, that, that people are eating more veggies and fruits, etc. But I wonder if that could also be partially explained by the fact that when you start a screening program, whichever it is, you start picking all the disease that is there, or you know, all the cascade of gastric disease starts to appear, and you keep treating it and it appears, it appears, until you reach a point where your screening program starts to work, and then you are only remain with those people that that are still overexposed to those uh, factors. I don't know if you if you would agree that it was just that you needed to wait the time to actually see the impact of, of course, of all the other measures, but of your screening program in particular. As uh, Elizabeth uh, mentioned about it, that you know, the Korean government start to national organize national cancer screening program 1999. But before at least that 10 years or t well, well, more than 20 years, the uh, habits of the Koreans' uh, dietary and, and the other hygienic and the other nutritional status, they already start to increase, well, some, some, some modified uh, by the general improvement of uh, economic status. And also before 1999, the uh, opportunistic screening by the private hospitals and private you know, doctors is very well, very popular. In, in, in so-called 1999, the organized cancer national screening program has been initiated. Now, the national cancer screening program covers the whole, whole population. It's a universal coverage in Korea, and universal coverage of health insurance, so every people can get it. However, before 1999, only a small portion, small part of people who are well educated, wealthy, and uh, living in the metropolitan area, they can took the uh, screening screening the services. Not all. So it might be some uh, delay in the lag period of uh, maybe, I don't know, 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. But anyway, it happened to be uh, it happens in 2011, start to decrease. So we're very happy. <laughs>